Hey everybody, Mark here, and we're going to look into the new update here. Not full self-driving, but 2020.44. So let's jump in. We're going to take a look at the release notes and see what's on there. First thing is first, we got the autopilot set speed. This is essentially an offset uh, when you come up to a speed limit sign and it recognizes it. Uh, it's going to either stay at the same speed that you're at previous to the speed limit sign, or you're going to be able to adjust it to offset or be at the speed limit sign limit that is actually there. Next one we have is Spotify improvements. This one's really cool. I use Spotify in here. If you don't subscribe to the uh, the premium service there, uh, Spotify is built in here and it's great. I use it at home. We have it on our refrigerator and so many other places. But the good feature about this now is that we're going to be able to use our mobile app to uh, control what's playing on here. That's kind of nice. I don't know that I would use it, but for those that like to search on their phone and want to uh, find some of their stuff there. The UI on the phone is a little bit different than it is in here, but it looks like they're improving that as well. Another great one is the media search results. So it's rearranged for easier viewing and it's based uh, on the media source that you're actively using. So you'll be able to get uh, some searches, some, uh, some of your content better to you with this media search imp improvement here. Now this one is, I, I like this a lot because it's it minimizes, you know, we all buy these Teslas for one or two reasons, either minimalistic uh, ability to have this car where there's no screen in front of you, except for what's here and no gauges and so on and so forth. Well, that's what I was hoping to see in this. And it's exactly what it is. We'll be able to take away like the radio, the phone or the streaming, depending on what you use most frequently. Like for instance, I don't use karaoke and I don't use tune in and I really don't know that I use the streaming. So we're going to take those off and I'll show you what to do it. This is great for people uh, with different languages here. There is all kinds of different languages that you can put the screen in so that you, if you're Spanish uh, in uh, Poland and so on and so forth, you'll be able to see much more languages in here. And I'll show you where all that is as well. Now the previous release notes, you guys can see this. I'll put a link to these release notes in the description, but let's jump in there and check off the offset. So first thing we're gonna do is click our car icon down here at the bottom. We're gonna get an autopilot and then scroll up just a little bit and we're gonna get to set speed. So set speed can be the current speed. That's going to keep you at the same speed that you're at uh, when you're driving. So if you're in 45 mile an hour and you drop to uh, or go up to a 55, it's going to stay at 45 miles an hour, which is good. Or, or in, in every case there, it could be bad or good. So whichever yours is, you can change it to that. Now we're going to do the speed limit and we're going to do fixed and they have a percentage. I'm not sure why there's a percentage listed in here because that seems like a lot of, you know, figuring out like if I'm doing 40 and I do 1% up is that four miles an hour you know you, there's just so much in there so I'm gonna leave mine at fixed and always do like three miles an hour over the speed limit that way I'm not holding up traffic in Florida they give you five miles an hour without uh, any type of uh, you know citation or anything like that that's pretty much in here let's jump into the uh, the language which is under display and then from here you can see that there's all kinds you got English Spanish French French and you can scroll down a little bit I think the I can't see it down there but you can see some of those other languages and same thing over here but it just doesn't let us scroll down there so maybe they'll fix that in the next coming updates and lastly the most important one for me let's jump into Spotify right here and you can see down here we have radio a phone and streaming Spotify I want to I just want to minimize this so we're gonna be able to come in here to sources uh, once we hit the settings button I'm gonna turn off tune in I'm gonna turn off karaoke and I'm going to turn off streaming. So now you can see that it's minimal. You got radio, phone, Spotify. And you can kind of see that acting in the background. If I turn one back on, real simple fix, but it's going to require you to have a minimum of three. So I'm going to turn that one off, uh, karaoke, and tune in. There we go. That's what that looks like now. Nice and clean down here at the bottom. I think that's beautiful. That works good for me. And that's pretty much it. Well, one other thing that I wanted to notice that I, I hadn't noticed before, and sometimes this happens uh, when I get a new update, is the notifications up top. When there's a notification, like right now my air pressure is low. We had a little cold front come through, the air changed. Uh, but you can see, I don't remember seeing these carrots or these, these brackets on the side right here. Um, and now when you click on one, like auto steer is temporarily unavailable. We're going to click this one here. It seems to take you right to the manual on the page, which is kind of neat. If you're if you're kind of curious to what happens or what is happening on there, you can see that there's carrots on here and it says auto steer temporarily available. It's gonna take you that to that one. If we scroll up a little bit, I think that's about it, except for air pressure. 
So it's going to take you right to the position in the manual where that warning is. So if, if your car gets the UI underscore A014, you can tap on that and see what kind of uh, information is in the manual. Well, that's going to be it. I, you know, we could take this for a drive. I think you understand what happens when there's a speed limit sign. Uh, I have it to where it's going to offset plus or minus a couple miles an hour right there. So I think that's it. I figured I'd give you guys a short video, uh, just like my wiper one on the last one. If you like these short videos, let me know in the, in the uh, comments, and we'll see you again soon. Hopefully, we'll get that full self-driving one of these days. I want to thank you guys for watching, liking, and subscribing. I'll see you on the next one.